I can recall that moment when the great South African playwright, director, and actor Athel Fugard walked into seven stages for rehearsals of his play, My Children, My Africa, and he ran his fingers along the wall, took a deep breath, and said he could smell the blood and sweat of artists. In 1990, we created a conference called Recalling the Future, and we invited a panel of futurists to talk about the future of theater in 2000. Much of what they described has happened for better or worse. Looking today at our history and accomplishments, we acknowledge the work of thousands of artists who believe in our mission of producing and presenting theater with a social, political, or spiritual content. Seven Stages started in 1979 with a group of artists who wanted to put down roots and live in a community. We hooked up with other artists who also wanted to call Atlanta home. The kinds of curious, odd plays we chose led us logically to working with important national theater folk. Right at the end of our first decade, we invited artists from other countries to live and work in our community, and we realized then we were redefining the notion of community as a community of spirit, as well as a geographical location. There's a wonderfully absurd logic to how Seven Stages thinks about international theater. Our new idea of a portal theater is establishing a new base in Europe so we can actively engage artists from our community with artists in other countries. By spending quality time with people from other cultures, we learn about who we are, what drives us, and how to make the world a better place. Standing on the shoulders of artists who have lived and worked with us, we want to share a vision of the world that is an improved planet for all its citizens. <laughs>